Hi, in this video I am going to be demonstrating how to put together the school bus bag, which is a SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. So with this one, I want to piece together the bus first. So that's probably the hardest part of this whole bag. It's pretty simple to put together. But first I like to put them in order of how they need to be pieced from the bottom piece first. I have a little hanging off there. So I'm going to start from the bottom. And then the next layer is that one. So visually you know how to put it together. If I put them together that way first and then um, I will put it together in the order from top to bottom. I'm going to put this little black piece goes below that. And then we have little uh, additional pieces on the side but those can be put on the last. So that's how it goes together. Those are all the uh, other little pieces that go on. So we'll start with that top piece and the black piece that's behind the school cutout. So I'm going to use my um, fine tip glue applicator to apply a fine amount of glue around the school cutouts including the two lines on the top and bottom so you can see and it doesn't matter if you go a little bit beyond it because it's going to be glued on to that back anyway so if you go if you glue a little bit more beyond um, below or above um, it won't make that big of a difference and I forgot to put glue above that top line so it just needs to re be a really light amount so you don't see it come through when you put the black piece on. And you see it's rounded where the tire is. Make sure that that rounded piece just goes right in line with the tire area. And if there's just a little bit of glue that comes through you can just go ahead and use a little paper towel to dab it off. Most glue um, at least the ones I, I use uh, dry clear. So if a little bit shows through it's not a big deal. And then we're just going to add uh, glue around the these frame pieces to glue it onto the gray section. And we're going to line it up. So I'll put a little glue I got, got on the back a little bit. So we're going to be really careful about starting. I always start at the bottom for this or the top, but I'm going to line up where the tire cutout is and then just lightly place it down and then make sure that my edges match up. I mean, if it's off this midgen, it's not going to be a huge deal, but you can see visually it's coming along. So I'm going to use this little color box, uh, box chalk ink just to quickly ink the edges to give it definition because I want it um, the look of the bus I want it to look a little bit raised this portion so that's how it's going to fit on there so we're going to glue the the big yellow piece on for the on the background on that black piece and the black piece just is the entire shape to allow us to piece it together and put the places in the right put the pieces in the right place then you'll see the tires will show through so again this is uh, there's only a couple little there's really nothing tricky to this. It's just putting it together in the right uh, order. Then I'm just getting these little pieces ready. So this, if you'll notice, there's a, just one little sharp corner. That's going to go in the upper right. So, But it's going to fit right on that bottom right corner of the the bus. A little glue leakage here. Overage. Oh, 
and just a little bit of glue to add that headlight. Using the pick me up tool. Then we'll add a little glue to the middle of the tires to attach that middle tire piece. Hub cap, whatever you want to call it. And then we can match up that top piece. I think it would be good popped up, so I'm going to add a little bit of uh, foam tape to it to give it dimension. So I, I use scotch. I, I use varieties, but this one I'm using scotch foam tape. And just cut it into sizes. And then we'll just place it, align it to the, the section in the back. You can just use visually, it helps to look at the tire cutout. Now we'll go ahead and add these little uh, wheel wells or tire wells, whatever you want to call them. So I had to add a little piece of pop-up tape as well as glue on this one because I popped it up. So one side has a uh, foam tape, a little thin strip on the front. To pop it up to match the back and the back has glue. And after we add the second one uh, that the bus is done. So to me that was the most time consuming portion of this project. And then we can move on to the assembly of the bag. So once we cut out the pieces for the bag we just want to go ahead and quickly fold them on the score lines and I like to do this in advance so it's easier for me to place the panels because I want to put on the panels when it's flat. So we're going to place the side, two sides and back panel on first and the bus will go on uh, afterwards. So we're just going to go ahead and center this you can see that it's centered around that uh, cutout too for the handle. And so we won't, we'll leave the bus for later. We don't want to put it on quite now yet. Because it juts out on the front and back of this um, bag, it, um, it's not easy. It would not be easy to put together the actual bag if we put it on first. So just continue to center them. And once we put this last panel on, we will glue together the two pieces. And we won't do the bottom yet. Well, after we glue together the pieces using the side tab, we will um, place the bus. So now we're just going to add glue on this side tab. You could do it on this side tab or the other one. Then we're going to line up this edge, the right piece edge, to the tab fold. Line it up visually on uh, top and bottom as well. And then apply pressure and make sure it's good and secure. And then because it's a square box we can, or bag, we can kind of fold it over. And you can see we can lay the other tab flat. And then fold it over to to line up the other edge. Just visually make sure it's matched up on the bottom, lined up on the bottom. Get some excess glue off. And then once we have it like this, this is the time we want to add the bus because uh, it would be too hard to put together if we put it on before. Since it's still flat it'll be easier to glue on. 
but you can see where it's going to glue so we have to be careful where we place the glue so it's a little bit behind the first tire and you so you kind of visually know where you're going to put your glue don't put the glue on the actual um, bag I mean you can on the top and in the middle but so I'm just kind of placing my fingers where I think the glue is going to be and I know I just went beyond it it's just habit and then make sure you get the tire there and then the front tire you could get a little glue on part part of it on the right half And then you want to carefully line up the top. So remember, it, it's off the top, the back a little bit, and not the front a little bit. So you're just going to line it up to the curve on the top of the front of the bag. And you kind of, you'll see that it kind of juts out there. So once that's on, we can go ahead and close the bottom piece. So you can use your uh, choice of your adhesive. I'm using, obviously I'm still using liquid glue. So you can go ahead and add glue on the panels or, you know, score tape works well for these types of boxes as well. And you can glue it to the bottom of the box if you'd like. I'm just gluing it on the inside. I just kind of flatten it here to line it up, the edges up. And then kind of apply a little pressure around the um, edges until it's set in place. And then I can reach in to apply pressure from on the tabs from inside. And I'm going to use my, uh, my free takeout Chinese chopstick. It just allows me to get into little pieces where I could get my hands in there, but my hands are a little bit wide for this box. So it's just easier to have a long tool. So you could do it with your hands as well. So the last thing we need to do is just add the handle. So we're just going to curl the handle a little bit by burnishing a little bit. Just to give it a, look, a curve before you put it on. And then I have some brads that I like to use to uh, attach things like this. And the reason I like the brads um, is because you can rotate the handle once you have it attached. You could glue it on and put like a rhinestone if you wanted to on top to hide the hole. Um, but if you, I think most people have brads or something like that in their possession. It just opens up like that. And then just to finish it off, we put the second brad in and the box is good to go. It's a nice little gift for a school bus driver or anybody really at the school. If you needed something for a non-teacher or something like that. Even for a teacher, it'd be cute. It's a nice little gift box to just add a small little gift or candy or nuts or something like that. Well, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed the project.